Hello everyone, welcome back to Mud, Sweat and Gears and I'm here to try out some new knee pads. My old G4 knee pads have gotten a bit worn out and it's time to get a new set. So I'm trying out these new Sam Hills. Take a look right here. Sam Hills signature knee pads. Tried them out in the trail this morning and at the end of this ride, I'll let you know how these knee pads go. I'm really excited to try these out. I got these from my buddy Sheldon from Trail Logic. Trail Logic is the local distributor for 7 IDP. And um, I'm going to give you my thoughts at the end of the ride today. So, see you soon. <coughs> All right, so I'm back from my ride and I've had time to get a shower and get something to eat. And I can now sit and talk to you about these seven IDP knee pads. So before buying these knee pads, I did, a, I did my research on them and I saw Vital MTB did a very detailed review on these knee pads. And unbelievably, Vital gave them a five star rating. So I wanted to know, what does that mean for me as a rider in the Caribbean? They said it was breathable and comfortable and stays on your leg, doesn't move around very much when you ride. But let's face it, right? These reviews are based on perspectives in much cooler climates. What does this review mean for me, who lives in the Caribbean, where I would normally ride in 30 or 32 degrees Celsius weather? Would it really breathe as well riding in warm weather? and I had to find out. So I put these knee pads on and I rode for close to two and a half hours, keeping the knee pads on at all times. At no point in time was it, was it riding lower down on my shin. I kept these knee pads from the start to the end of my ride. And what Vital MTB said was true. These knee pads are really comfortable. The material on the inside knee pads is very soft on his skin. It feels so comfortable. And what also makes it very nice is right down the back of the knee pad, it has this breathable material. It keeps the back of your knee feeling really, really cool throughout my ride. Another observation I had whilst wearing the knee pads for that duration of time is that in between your little stops, be between trails or waiting for other bodies to catch up, it, it whisks moisture away from your skin quite fast. So you don't ever feel like you're wearing a, a soggy sock. And, um, and I think that has a lot to do with the material the pads are made from. Um, so when I say it, it's, it's breathable, I think that for us in the in the Caribbean or anyone that part that lives in a tropical climate, uh, it, it takes it, it takes sweat away from your skin quite quickly. So this this material is is really really very breathable and, and nice to wear. Of course, for wearing a knee pad for for two and a half hours, you will sweat a lot. So these silicone grips on the inner part of the knee pads. These silicone grips did a, a fantastic job keeping the knee pads in place. I gave it a, a, a really thorough ride. I did jumps, I did drops, um, bunny hops, sprints, uphill climbs. I did a fairly long test of these knee pads. So this isn't a, a long term review per se, but more like a, an initial impression. Another thing I felt was really positive about these knee pads uh, are these inserts. So these slip into the knee pads and what I think makes, one of the things that makes these knee pads so comfortable, these fit kind of molded around your knees so it doesn't impede knee movement at all. It felt really, really comfortable pedaling in these knee pads that length of time. And even after the ride, I still kept them on because <laughs> I don't want to sound like if I'm exaggerating, but the knee pads are really comfortable. It feels really good against the skin. Another positive, another plus about these 
removable inserts. You could take these out of your out of the knee pads, easily just throw them in the washing machine with your riding clothes. Because it's 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 just cloth, it it it, come, it folds up very easily. If there isn't any hard or or, or 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 rigid structure in the knee pad, so you could just throw them in the in the washer with, with your other riding clothes and it's fresh, it's clean and ready for your next ride. Some other other points about the knee pad is um, it comes much higher up your thigh than, than probably some other knee pads you may have worn. So in, you could see in this video where, where, where I'm putting on the knee pads, they come fairly high up or above the, around the mid, mid part of your thigh. So um, when taking your, your measurements, it's important to, when you go to the 790p website and you go to the sizing guide, it's to take measurements of your, your lower to mid thigh area. So once it is you make sure and you, you get your correct measurements, um, you should have a really comfortable experience using these knee pads. I definitely would recommend these knee pads for anyone that, that does trails or enduro riding and wants something that's, that's pedal friendly, that's breathable, that's comfortable. Um, you, could get, you, you could definitely get, your, get yourself a pair of these um, if, if you live in a, a Caribbean or, or tropical climate. So if you're somewhere between two sizes and you're not too sure if you should go with medium or large or large or extra large or small or medium where after you've taken your measurements, you could connect with Sheldon on Instagram. His Instagram handle is posted in the link below. You can reach out to him on IG, send him a message and he could link up with you and, and see what size would, would, would fit you better. So check it out, check out Sheldon, check out these knee pads. These pads are awesome. Thanks for watching and see you next time on the trail. Ride more, live more.